Hello and welcome back to FT Business School. The world's economic centre of gravity is shifting rapidly to the east, where countries such as China and India are seeing rapid growth and social change. It's a trend that most business schools outside the region have acknowledged, but seem almost powerless to address, while most business schools in the region lack the capacity and the experience to deal with it. Kaylok Chan is the newly appointed Dean of the Business School at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Professor Chan, with the rise in Asian business, will we see a rise in Asian business schools? Are we going to see um, uh, uh, in the next decade, for example, that some Chinese or Indian business schools will be spoken of in the same centres as Kellogg or Wharton or Stanford? Well, certainly that uh, we do really see that uh, it might happen because that uh, with uh, the rise of uh, the two biggest uh, economies uh, in the world, I mean, it's going to uh, give rise to uh, big demand I mean, for business education and also that uh, the research program. So certainly that uh, we do uh, really uh, uh, would like to see, I mean, some of the, these uh, brand name schools also arising in uh, uh, China or in India. Are the, are the issues that business schools in, the, in Asia face very different from those that are faced by business schools in, let's say, Europe or, or the US? I mean, certainly, because that uh, some of the economies that we're talking about, China or India, and then the, the pace of the stages of the development are very different from these developing countries uh, in the West. And so certainly there are a lot of uh, different issues, uh, whether it's uh, environmental, social, uh, or economic issues, they are quite different. And so therefore certainly that we need to have uh, different ways uh, in analyzing uh, the problems. Um, okay, so, so um, what are some of the issues? I mean, are, are there political issues involved here? I think that uh, what the major or some of the issues are like uh, social issues, for example, that the social uh, inequality, I mean, income inequality, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a really uh, some of the big problem. And then certainly that uh, after these uh, economies have uh, been growing, uh, for so fast. I mean, there's also the issue about the uh, sustainability, whether the economy can be really uh, going uh, in the same pace as before, and also that uh, what the implication for the environment. I mean, so these are really uh, important uh, issues. Right. So, can, can we think of Asia as one single market, or are, are we talking about a lot of very different markets here? No, I think that uh, Asia is uh, quite big, and then. Uh, that uh, it's a very uh, different uh, across the different countries. So I think that uh, it should really be a uh, very heterogeneous uh, region. And so it should be a many different countries rather than one single uh, country. If we take China as an example, I mean, what are the differences in teaching in China, in the subjects you teach, from teaching in, say, the US, where you were a professor for a very long time? Well, certainly, because that uh, the uh, China does not really that uh, come from a, uh, uh, a have a good institutional uh, system being established, and so therefore that uh, there are quite a lot of uh, the issues are really that uh, the uh, probably influenced by the government policy, and so certainly that uh, when we analyze some of these uh, problems that we have really to understand about this uh, government policy as well. Uh, rather than really that uh, ignoring it. Right. Okay, so, so I mean, is, is this part of the problem that um, European and US business schools have in moving into the Asian market? Or is it something far more fundamental? Is it that then they can't move quickly enough? I think that certainly that uh, we welcome uh, this, uh, the uh, schools from the West uh, to move to China because that uh, really they are really quite a heavy demand for this business education and that uh, knowing that uh, this, uh, how this uh, global business are being done and how this is a global economy is evolving, I certainly is going to be beneficial uh, to the participants from in China. But of course, that, as I say, there are really some of uh, these uh, regional and country-specific issues that uh, need to be addressed, and certainly that people that uh, who are really uh, uh, doing the research and teaching in the region have the expertise on that. Professor Chan, thank you very much indeed. OK, thank you. To watch more FT interviews with business school deans, go to ft.com forward slash.